Alright. And I'm back. Welcome to the third hour of my Extra Life stream, where I'm speedrunning the Guild Wars 2 main story, having just boosted my character to level 80 as soon as I could. I'm Jesse, I'm also known as Tango, and I stream for Extra Life, a charity organization that partners gamers like me with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals to raise money for kids in need. Play games, heal kids. It's that simple. We do this because it's time to change kids' health. Kids can't wait. By giving kids a brighter tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, everyone gets a brighter future. We are in the third chapter of our third, I'm gonna, yeah, third chapter is probably the best thing of the Silvari story where we start to expand into the rest of the world. We start to prepare to interact beyond Silvari and Asura. And we barely interacted with Asura. This is our first hint at something really big in the world. Valiant, the pale tree summons you. Is there a problem? It sounds like there's a commotion in the Imbalus chamber. Those are the emissaries of the three orders of Tyria. There is a situation. The orders of Tyria? Who are they? And what's going on? The orders are organized groups that work against the Elder Dragons. The Vigil, the Derman Priory, and the Order of Whispers. Zaitan's might is growing. Its undead minions rise on the beaches of Krita and the tarnished coast. Why are the emissaries arguing? What am I walking into? To the north, Overlake Haven is in danger of being overrun. The Lion Guard are outmatched by risen troops. We Silvari realize that all life is intertwined. If Zaitan threatens one race, he threatens us all. Then why are the Orders arguing? Why don't they just do something about it? We think alike, you and I. Let us speak with the mother tree. Fingertips are cold. Munition golems? You want to fight the elder dragons with toys and dollies? Better than throwing away Silvari lives on a direct assault. No one's throwing away lives. Vigil soldiers are the best. Greetings, Valiant. Today you take the next steps on the journey of your wild hunt. Zaitan's forces are gathering at Overlake Haven. The Orders wish to defend the location, but their plans differ. Valiant, I name you to be my herald in this matter. The Grove can only back one of these plans. May your dream guide your decision. I am honored, Mother Tree. I will do my best. My name is Branthen. I represent the Vigil. We can have a platoon arrayed at Overlake Haven immediately. Our soldiers can handle this situation. In the Vigil, we prefer to fight our enemies head on. The best way to protect the Haven is to provide military force. You're asking to risk countless lives. Herald, the Derman Priory proposes a far safer course of action. My name is Eowerth. The Priory wants to utilize experimental munitions golems to destroy the undead. We'll have no soldiers on the field at all. Completely untested munitions golems. You're the one risking lives. What if your golems fail? And you, Emissary? You've been quiet through the whole argument. I'm Kai, and I represent the Order of Whispers. I brought this situation to the Pale Tree's attention, but I'll leave the frontline fighting to the others. Very well. Give me a moment to think this over, and then I'll decide. All right.
excellent choice, Harry. Trust me. For sake of balance, I'm going to do one story for each of these. Golems will meet you at the Overlake Haven. Enjoy playing with your little toys, Eowyth. If it goes badly, the vigil will be here. Retake. Where is Overlake Haven? I don't feel like that's the right answer. I need to walk there. Like, please take this thing and go portal? That waypoint. <sighs> the waypoint. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. I finished calibrating the powder to payload ratio. Ula's schematics were vague, so I improvised. Ah, splendid. Here's the Herald now. Are we ready to proceed? Be sure to observe all safety protocols as soon as I make them. Glad to see you, Harold. Here we stand, safe and sound above Overlake Haven, while the undead march on the field. We're outnumbered 20 to 1. You sound cheerful, despite the hopeless odds. Are the golems ready? I'd say the odds are in our favor, actually. It doesn't take a thousand soldiers to win a battle. It just takes one very smart researcher. Priory explorers do a great deal of research into abandoned laboratories, ancient ruins, tomb crawling, dungeon running. Ah, oh, that's the good life. Yes, yes, Keck, that would be quite enough. You see, Keck found the original schema for these munitions golems. He's very excited to see them in action. 
As am I. Is everything ready to go? Those undead are getting a little too close for comfort. Ah, yes, sorry. <laughs> Allow me to explain. These golems were originally created for subterranean expansion. They enter a tiny tunnel and then explode, creating a widened area. Kecht and I fitted these models with deployable landmines. We piled them remotely right into the mass undead below. Sounds brilliant. Let's see how they work. Don't worry. Quite safe up here, I assure you. We are probably not safe up here at all. That looked important. What did it? Don't worry, we have plenty of these things. You come seeking knowledge? Well, that takes a moment to charge. This is the, probably one of these stranger things I've... I think my karma boost turned off. It did. Get me.
would be really awesome if those didn't all blow up together. Lion Guard. These folk are from the German Priory. With their help, we're gonna take back the Haven. Come get me. Oh, really, come get me. Some of these dancers just blow up. Who knew? Thank you. 
Oh, there was one behind me. Did not know that. Well done, well done. The munitions columns perform splendidly. Harold, wait! Look over there. Do you see that? Most intriguing. Utterly explosive! That should be all of them. Overlake Haven will be safe, with no loss of life. Magnificent work, Kent. The munitions columns serve their purpose admirably. I'm extremely impressed, Ewa. The Derman Prior is clearly an organization that values cleverness. You're quite correct. And this is only a taste of what the Priory offers. Think of it. Shells as high as an oak tree, filled with lore and wisdom. Adventure, experimentation, ancient tombs rich with, uh, exploration. I see. Tell me, with your vast knowledge, could you identify that strange-looking creature on the road? I've never seen anything like it before. Sadly, no. I was wondering the same thing. If Zaitan has spawned some new horror, we must discover its nature. The next one will ask Agreed. between the Whispers Let's and Priory, to... because those are both knowledge-seeking. To go spy on you. Uh, I'm not going to approach this. I'm willing to go.
found it. Our scholars are looking into... Hey, you said your people weren't going to be there. I said we wouldn't be involved. Not that we wouldn't watch. Do you have a problem with that? You're always the most untrustworthy, cowardly lot of reprobates in Tyria. I have good news, Mother Tree. Overlake Haven is safe, and the undead have been driven away. Valiant, I was told about the strange undead you saw on the battlefield. I think I can help you. The creature sounds like a lich. From the description I was given, I think I can identify it as Mazdak the Accursed. Mazdak the Accursed? I know that name. One of my firstborn, Rianok, went to destroy Mazdak many years ago. I armed him with a thorn from my own bow, a mighty sword named Kalithorg. Both were lost, never to return to the grove. Herald, it seems you have a chance to discover the fate of my lost son, and perhaps even avenge Rianok's death. Legend says that Rianok chose a human to be his squire. If that squire survived, the Order of Whispers could find him. The Order's very good at tracking people down, even when they don't want to be found. Untrustworthy as always. I have an alternate suggestion. As you may know, the Derman Priory specializes in researching and recovering lost knowledge. This sounds like an exciting opportunity to experiment with a ritual we've uncovered. If cast, it lets you witness the last moments of a person's life. The mystery of Rianok's death has pained the Silvari since the days of the Firstborn. Knowing his fate would help to heal that wound. Branton, does the Vigil have any suggestions? Gathering information isn't our strong suit. Instead, I'll go ask my superiors how to kill a lich. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Very well. Harold, the choice is yours. Well, since I just did. Wise decision. We tread the squire to a camp in the Wemmen Steps. Meet me there and we'll infiltrate. I hear adventure calling you. Inventory, upkeep. Where do you want me to go? How did I even get a... Alright, here we go! <laughs> Across the Brisbane Wildlands. This might actually be a better time for 
Not you, but you? Nope. Not you either. That was the wrong button. Oh dear. Um. through Scritzburg, but sure, whatever. Let's get that waypoint before we head for the destination. There you are, Heron. I just finished putting together our disguises. With these, they won't even be able to tell we're Silvari. Ready? I've been working on this disguise spell for a while. The hat alone took three months. I knew it'd come in handy to look like a human. What do you think? I'm not as talented as the Queen of Divinity's reach, but my work as a mesmer is a benefit to the Order of Whispers. It's a little unnerving, to be honest. I feel mushy and unwieldy. Well, you won't have to wear it for long. According to our records, Rhianox Squire was named Wayne. This human settlement is his place of birth. Hang on. You already knew the name of Rhianox Squire. Why didn't you say so? The Order of Whispers knows a lot more than most people realize. We are Tyria's eyes and ears. The more we know, the more subtly we can operate. We don't have a big army or a ton of researchers. Instead, we use politics and blackmail to shape the world. And if blackmail doesn't get you what you want? Then we steal it, of course. Now come on! These disguises won't last forever, and we have a lot of investigation to do. Remember, we're big, floppy human bandits. We're not afraid of anything. Ready? Big, floppy human bandits. We're not afraid of anything. Fresh meat, I see. If you haven't come out here to fight against the Tyrant Queen, then get out, or get dead. Fight the Queen of Crite? Oh yes, of course, that's what we're here for. Oh, and to find an old friend named Wayne. Is he around? Wayne? I know him, but I don't know whether you can be trusted. People around the camp might need a hand. Prove yourself to them, and you prove yourself to me.
don't. No, I don't know how they can eat that stuff. Hey, you lot. We need Moas for the stew. Go find him. May the shadows embrace you. Thanks to you, we'll have Moa stew tonight. I've never been very good with insults. I guess I'm just shy. Hello. Okay, this is an easy logic puzzle, but it does require me to write stuff down. Okay. Get off the chest. Thank you. You got it open. What? It's empty. Bah! Stupid, fraggle, fraggle, frag. Get out of my face. Go tell Dola you helped me, and then leave me alone. Impressive code breaking, Harold. You'd be a great help to the Order of Whispers. Tell Dola you help me out. And feel free to come back for more. Weapons are so unwieldy. Hey, don't look at me like that. This sword is just a tool.
Not bad, Cutter. The whole camp's talking about you. Running this place is a lot like herding cats. So, do you know Wayne well? Absolutely. Wayne and I have been old friends since we were tiny, weak, pink flesh noodles. You mean since you were... children? Right. Okay, got it. <laughs> You're pretty funny, Cutter. Look, I hardly know the bloke, but he's like a brother to Jot. Hey, Jot, some people up here want to talk to you about Wayne. Stay away from me. Thorns and brambles. Jack took off. Chase him down. After that moustached man thing? Calm down, Jot. We just want to find Wayne. Do you know where he is? If you touch a hair on my head, Wayne will hunt you down and beat you up. He can do it, too. He's got a magic sword. A magic sword, huh? Let me guess. It's about so long, sort of leafy-looking, glowy. That's the one. He stole it from some stupid Silvari named Rianok. Swiped it right out of his hand and left him to fight some lich. Wayne's a clever one. That sword won him every tournament in the Lion's Arch Arena. Until they caught him cheating. Don't you think he's all out of shape or nothing? He still pit fights out near Guardian's Pass. You'd better not make him mad. Thanks. That's exactly what we needed to know. Huh? Come on, Kai. Let's get this information to the Pale Tree. And this time, we're going to tell her everything we know. I expect they're all having a good laugh at my expense now. Perhaps you should consider a new yep. line of work. That's a good idea. See you around. Well, I'm gonna have to get the fight with my one of two or not. I'm pretty sure this is the only one of the five major starting cities that has its own mini animation like that. Welcome back, Herald. Tell me, have you learned of Rhiannoc's fate? I have, Mother. Rhiannoc died fighting Mazdak the Accursed, but his sword was stolen. Stolen? What foul, contemptible foe dared steal Caledbog? It was no foe. A friend betrayed him. Wayne, Rearnock's squire. During the battle, he stole the weapon and fled. Betrayed? And by someone he loved? Why are people so drawn to betrayal? Wayne still carries Caledbog. He's been using it to compete in gladiatorial tournaments. I insist that the Vigil accompany you. We'll face this wretch in the tournament ring and thrash his hide. Our order is founded on the principles of courage and duty. I can't stand to hear that Caledbolg is being wielded by an honorless traitor. You trusting fool. Wayne will flee if he finds out you're there. With a little trickery, we can manipulate the tournament. Once Wayne's been beaten, the Order of Whispers can steal the sword with ease. Nope, nope, we need to go in and fight this time. Start using your <laughs> Both are interesting suggestions. Earworth, your thoughts. I'm afraid 
Gladiatorial tournaments aren't the Priory's forte. While you get the sword, I'll research Mazdak and try to pinpoint his location. Herald, Kaladvolg must be returned. Decide and go forth to deal justice. To compete in a tournament. That's adorably stupid. Why compete when we can just rig it? You have no honor, Kai. All this needs is a show of force. Once Wayne realizes he's outmatched, he'll give up the sword. You say honor, and I say smarts. I've got them, and you don't. Do we have all of these helmets? Still to play Helm Gladiator Helm. Yes, I do. Sorry, I thought you were going to take me. Okay, this time we do want to go through the gate. the Halloween event is still running through Tuesday. First visit to Lion's Arch cutscene. They're showing the new Lion's Arch. But when I trigger a story in Lion's Arch, it will be the old Lion's Arch. Because there was a major story where Lion's Arch was basically destroyed. This is not normally where one would appear in Lion's Arch. Go babe, thank you. Actually, when you land, we'll find the button. There we go. Roller beetle ready. Ah. I think it was not where I thought it was.
There he is. That's Wayne, fighting in the pit. You can tell by looking at his sword. It's got to be Kalibog. Treason, a snake! Let's jump down there and break it out of his hand. We can't make a scene. Half these people are bandits. If they suspect the sword's value, we'll never make it out alive. You're right, of course. But that doesn't make this any easier. The vigil punishes evil. It's difficult to stand here and allow it to continue. Then we'll have to enter the tournament as we planned. If we defeat him honestly, we can claim the sword as battle price. If he doesn't give it to us, he'll be shamed in front of all these thugs. Then he's the dead one. If you think you can beat him, you join the tournament. I'll stay up here. If these thugs get rowdy, I'll handle them. Good plan. All we have to do is register to fight. Hey, Dad. What are those walking plants? Son, don't call them plants. Watch the fighting and let Daddy drink his beer. Yo there, Shuvari. We don't see many of you around here. Either of you want to fight in the pit? I will. Who's that guy down there now? I'd like to fight him. That's Wayne, our current champion. First, you have to survive the preliminary round. Then you can fight Wayne. Last call for competitors! Who else wants to fight in the pit? Why'd I bet on that runty Norn and not the human? Wayne always wins. I thought I told you that three bouts ago. I know, I know. I just can't help rooting for the <gasps> underdog. All right, you toughs, here we go. Uh -huh. Fighting in the first round, the Brainstormer versus a new Silvari contender. Fighters, to the pit. Good luck. Mm. One more kick to the old Bronchi, and you'll be back in business. My murder bot's ready. Sick of it. The brainstormer fights a newcomer in this first round. A Silvari? <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to chop you to bits and use you as kindling. not to call them plants. Do as I say, not as I do. You look fresh from the dream. By the time I'm done with you, you'll wish you were back in your pod. Gold on that one. You're gonna lose that coin as soon as Wayne steps up. I don't know. <coughs> I got a feeling about this one. You got a feeling about every losing thing. We have a two time winner, Skeptiness. Let's raise the stakes. Place your bet in Shivari versus Wade Forest. Quarter! Come on! 
I'm not afraid of you, but I am ready for you. I've been ready for years. You're outmatched, Wayne, but I'm not here for your life. I'm here for Caribou. Give me Rearnock's sword and I'll let you go. The sword is mine. Rearnock wasn't worthy of it. He was willing to give his life. For what? For his people. And for you, Wayne. He stayed to give you a head start from Nasdaq. The Lich would have chased you down to get Calibol. That's why Rearnock died. No, you can't know. You weren't there. I'll kill you. Then I'll put Rianak and you smug Silvani behind me for good. I earned this sword. I suffered for it. You can't take it away from me. <laughs> Sometimes even the lottery pays off. One of my favorite things about Guild Wars 2 is the number of side things that are always happening and, and making you aware that You're NPCs amazing, are aware of the world. Claire. Your combat prowess is really something. I envy you the beating you gave that thug. I wish I'd been able to lend a hand. I was prepared to let Wayne go, but he wouldn't stop attacking me. I didn't want to kill him. That's what makes you great vigil material. You should seriously consider joining my order. Wayne had been carrying that burden for so long, it was probably a relief to die at the hands of someone who knew the truth. You're right. I could see it in his eyes. He seemed almost grateful. Come, Harold. I'll take Kaladbolg back to the Pale Tree, and then we'll find a way to make Mazdak pay. So getting tired of the upper commons waypoint. has a weakness, even Mazdak. If we have the knowledge, we will know where to strike. Welcome, ah. Herald. Join Here. our circle. There is much to explain. Greetings, my courageous Herald. I have heard news of your victory. Kaladbolg is returned at last. It was difficult, but worth it. Wayne's been punished at last. Herald. My research at the Priory proved fruitful. I know where Mazdak the Accursed was buried, and I believe I know his next target. He's planning to attack a human town known as the Ascalon Settlement. If we don't stop him, he'll wipe them out. He's attacking Ascalon Settlement? They're a peaceful area. They have very few defenses. We've got to stop Mazdak. We have the soldiers. If the Pale Tree would allow Kaladbolg to be born into battle, the Vigil can destroy Mazdak. All it takes is firepower, courage, and a direct assault. You're always thinking a straight line. Look, Mazdak's forces will have to move through the Centaur tribes to get to Ascalon's settlement. Why not turn them against each other? 
and take down two birds with one stone. The Order of Whispers could do that easily. I know where Mazdak was buried. The Priory could explore his tomb, get past the traps, and find a way to destroy the Lich while he slumbers. It's the logical approach. This Lich must be destroyed. For Rianok, for Tyria. Listen to me. The Orders wish you to join them. If you do, they will lend you strength. With their backing, we can defeat Mazdak. It is your destiny to fight Zaitan. Joining an Order will help you achieve that goal. Choose I'm going first. Vigil. It's not my Herald, favorite Order. Actually, my least air. favorite story Decide as things go. Mazdak, and know that the hopes uh. of the Grove go with you. But I think it suits the character. Glorious. You'll be a rising star in the vigil. We'll handle the formalities after the battle. Trevor, right. will you accompany us on this adventure? Your knowledge of Orion Undead is second to none. I'm not going to join your order, but yes, I will lend my aid. Right, I'm going to take a short break. We'll be back to go through the order sequence, and then I'm going to take lunch after I get through the order sequence. We'll be right back. <laughs>